Hello, and welcome to the Learning to Slay the Beast podcast, a resilience podcast where we talk about all the challenging things that we're working to overcome, like anxiety, obesity, health, and relationship issues. My name is Sarah. Welcome to the Learning to Slay the Beast meditation. This week is a let it go meditation. We are going to focus on letting go of things, people, situations, emotions that no longer serve us. In North America, we have entered the season of summer where we often feel lighter. We want to focus on happiness, focus on being out and about wherever we can. And this feeling of lightness will help you to enjoy the summer season. Now I invite you to select a scent if that is helpful for you, an essential oil, uh, some type of scent in your environment. A lighter scent would possibly be a citrus, maybe a lavender, something that makes you feel lightness. So let's get comfortable. We can be seated with support. You could be cross-legged. You could sit on a cushion or even be lying down. I invite you to close your eyes for this meditation. Let's notice our breath, not changing it, but just noticing the breath going in and out of our bodies, natural, present. Next, we can notice our body. We can breathe in to any areas that may be feeling tension. Just noticing. Let's begin with three breaths together. In our first breath, we will breathe into our stomach and out. For our second, we will breathe into first our chest, then our stomach, and breathe out. For the third breath, we will breathe into our throat, our chest, then our stomach, and breathe out. I invite you to set an intention for this meditation. The intention could be of letting go of feeling lighter, of feeling freedom from the thoughts, the people, the emotions, obligations, possessions, situations, or anything else that is weighing you down. Let's find ourselves now sitting on the edge of a dock by a beautiful, calm lake. It's morning, sunrise. The water is vacant and calm. The sky is many colors. The air smells fresh and is a little cool. You can hear the birds, maybe some frogs. Your feet are dangling into the cool water. You're sitting there calmly, taking in the sight 
and the sounds of nature. You begin to relax into a lull, feeling the calmness of the water in you. You notice three small rocks beside you on the dock. You pick one of them up into your hand. It is cool, smooth. You can feel the rock. Now take a moment to think of something that you want to let go of. Something, someone, a situation, an emotion that is not serving you and that you are ready to give up. Now that you have it, transfer that emotion, feeling, situation into the cool, smooth rock in your hand. Now, take the rock and throw it into the water. Release that rock. Feel the release in your body. You have two more rocks sitting next to you on the dock. Pick up the next rock. It has a slightly different feel, but cool, still the same. Now, think of another situation, emotion, issue that you would like to release. Could be big, it could be small. Now look down at the rock in your hand and put that emotion, feeling, thing into this second rock. Now, with it in your palm, take the rock and throw it into the lake. Watch as the water ripples around the rock as it sinks in and is gone. Feel the release. Now you have one rock remaining beside you. Pick it up, feel the weight of it, feel its coolness in your hand. Now what is left? What is that one remaining thing, feeling, emotion, situation that is no longer serving you? Feel it in your body, what needs to go. Now place it into the rock that is in your hand. Transfer it. Now take this rock that is no longer serving you and allow it to be released. Throw it into the water and as it lands and you see the ripple 
of the rock entering the water. Feel the final release. Now that your rocks are gone, you feel lighter. You have let go of three things that were weighing you down, that were no longer serving you. You feel lighter. Take in a last view of the lake. Take in one last breath, smelling nature, allowing the senses to hear, feel, view this spot. Feel the ease in your body as you have let go of things and now you're just left in the coolness. Now we're back onto our mat. We'll do three breaths together on the mat or seat, or wherever you've chosen to relax. For our first breath, we'll breathe into our stomach and out. Feel free to breathe out audibly to truly release that breath. On our next breath, we'll breathe into our chest and our stomach and out. And for the third breath, we'll breathe into our throat, our chest, our stomach and out. Now we are coming back into our body. We can wiggle our toes, our feet, just waking up our body after our relaxation time. We can move our spine, then up into our shoulders, waking up our shoulders. Now our neck, waking up our neck, swaying, if that's possible, side to side, slowly. Notice if any of that tension that you were holding in your body initially has released at all. I invite you now to open your eyes. And if your room is dark, focus on that. If there's light in your room, focus on one color initially as you begin to come back into your surroundings. And I invite you to move slowly into the rest of your day. Thank you for listening to this Let It Go meditation. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope that you are able to use this to help you release some feelings. Please share this meditation if you found it helpful. You can share the Learning to Slay the Beast podcast or this meditation. And if you did enjoy the meditation, please feel free to leave a review or a comment. Thank you and enjoy your week.
I wrote a book. I'd love for you to check it out. Pendulum by S.E. German is available now. Pendulum is a heartwarming story that follows a young boy who experiences mental health challenges like anxiety, OCD and depression, ADHD and tics following an infection. It turns out he has a little known disorder called PANDAS. The book follows the young boy as he struggles with his health issues as well as regular middle grade issues and it can act as a wonderful catalyst between you and your children to talk about mental health issues and other things that are going on in their life. Pendulum is available online through Amazon Worldwide. Barnes & Noble, the Friesen Press Bookstore, and a number of other online retailers worldwide. And you can check out Chapter 1, the audio version of Pendulum for free on the Learning to Slay the Beast podcast in Episode 64. I hope you enjoy Pendulum by S.E. German and let me know what you think. I'm excited to announce the launch of my author website, www.se-german.com. On this website, you can find out all the information about my publications, focused areas on my novel, Pendulum by S.E. German, where there are questions for parents as you work through the novel with your children, as well as teacher resources that can be used in the classroom. There's also information about the Learning to Slay the Beast podcast and recent press. Please visit www.se-german.com. Thank you for listening to the Learning to Slay the Beast podcast. Please keep in mind this podcast is not intended to be medical or professional advice. If you are looking for that advice, please seek that out from a professional. If you'd like to hear more from me, you can visit my blog, www.theallergybeast.wordpress.com, or follow me online at Sarah Lady Gluten on Instagram, S A R A L A D Y G L U T E N, or the Facebook page, Sarah Lady Gluten. If you do like the podcast, please consider subscribing so that you will get the podcast update every week and or reviewing the podcast on whatever platform you listen to. Thanks again and have a great week.